Hey everyone, Greg Harrell here with the Indiana Commission for Higher Education. I'm going to be providing a training overview of the V lookup formula in Excel. And the reason for this tutorial is um, that V lookup is, is a very powerful formula for um, working with, with student data. And it's one that I found especially to be helpful in graduation details reporting. And I, I think it will be um, a really big benefit, especially to schools who are participating in our inaugural year of Indiana pre-admissions, your path to college. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. And to complete this training, I have created some sample data. Um, so I've got two spreadsheets, the first of which we're looking at and is an example of the populated file that you pull for graduation details in scholar track so you'll see that it is um, you know a replica to a t for those of you that have, have done graduation details reporting before of what that file looks like so put some test data um, inside it and, and you know there are only a handful of students but still it will um, you know, give you a, a visual of, of how VLOOK lookup works. So alongside the populated file, I've also put together a sample school SIS spreadsheet um, that can, you know, for example, would be pulled from uh, uh, systems such as Naviance or PowerSchool, and there are many others that schools use. So this may not be you know, completely analogous with the reports that you're pulling down from your system, but likely are is pretty similar and, and will serve as a good example for purposes of this training. So with that said, one thing before I get going that we did recently in the graduation details populated file is include student STN. And that's very important because that gives us a common identifier between our populated file and your pool, um, your Excel pool from your um, SIS system. And so that makes it possible for formulas such as VLOOKUP to be used and be very effective for you in this process. So since we have a common identifier between our spreadsheets, as I said, we can use VLOOKUP. And we will start um, around right next to the STN column in the populated file, which is column B, I would click on column C to begin and hit insert. So we have created a new column in this spreadsheet. And we will title it updated diploma. Now, for those of you who aren't new to graduation details, you know that at the um, you know end when we're finished, all of the columns have to match up um, the same as they were when we pulled the original populated file. So we cannot delete original columns. We cannot move them around and change the order. They have to be exactly the same. So this additional column that I have created will eventually have to be deleted. OK, so where do we begin? We're trying to match STN to STN, right? So with the formula with any formula in Excel, you start with the equal key. And then you begin typing your formula. So we're going to type out VLOOKUP and after um, hitting a few keys, the system recognizes what we want. So you can either double click this or I usually just hit tab and that brings up our formula. So Excel knows this is what we're doing. We're using VLOOKUP. The first thing that it asks for. Is our lookup value which is going to be here in column B. Underneath the header STN, we'll select the first value. So it's going to be the B2 cell, and then we will hit comma. And after that, we have to find table array. So to do this, we will move from our populated file to our SIS spreadsheet. And so for the table array, we start with STN. And we're wanting diploma type, so we will move. This all the way down to column F. 
we're going from A to F here. So once we've done that, comma again, and then it asks for column index number. Simply what that is, is we're counting the columns between A and F. So we're counting, actually counting both of them. So A1, B2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we type 6 here. And then the last piece, it asks for range lookup and gives us the option of choosing true or false. We want to say false because we need an exact match. And then parenthesis to close out the formula. Very important. And then we hit enter. And so as you can see, we have returned a value adjacent to cell B2 and C2 for Sally Scholar. So in um, you know, the populated file from a previous report, when Sally was a junior, we see that her diploma at that time, she was earning a core 40. But if we go over to our SIS system and look at Sally, she has actually changed that diploma that she's graduating with um, and, and boosted that to a core 40 with technical honors. And if we go to our populated file, we pulled it over. So we've got her information, but we need it for the remainder of the students as well for their diploma types. So we can do one of two things. We can just drag and drop to the very bottom, or if sometimes I double click here in this corner and it does the same. So we now have the diploma types that we need. Um, what we can do from here, since we have them all, is go all the way down, right click, copy, and then hover above this first bit of data underneath the header, right click, and very, very important here, we have to click the values for paste options. And by doing so, what was here has now been updated in this area. So at this point, we can actually delete this column for VLOOKUP because we don't need it anymore. And with diploma type, really important, these have to be coded exactly as scholar track specifies. So So there's that one and then there is also this one that needs changed. So core 40 with academic honors and that is coded like that. We don't need to change core 40, that's fine in general is correct as well, so we can leave those. Now, we're only dealing with five students here, but if we had, let's say, 300, what I would recommend doing would, before changing the diploma names, I would just organize them in alphabetical order and change the first um, for each category to the um, you know correct code if it needs it, and then drag and drop to, to the rest of them. Um, so diploma is completed. The next step, we're just going to repeat what we did before with VLOOKUP, but this time we want GPA. And so we'll do the same thing, equal, VLOOKUP, tab, and then our lookup value, we want that B2 cell for STN. And then we move back over to the other spreadsheet and table array. So this time we're dragging all the way over to column G. So we're getting GPA. We went over six before, so we want seven this time. So we're grabbing the data underneath the cumulative GPA header. And then after that, again, we want false for an exact match, parenthesis to close out the formula, and it automatically moves us back into the populated file and updates the GPA for Sally Scholar, and then we can just drag and drop as before. And then I'll zoom out so we can see the GPA column right here. So we copy, 
and then again, right clicking and then paste and it paste all five of the GPAs. So that is finished. So again, we want to delete this column that we created so ScholarTrack doesn't produce an error when we ingest it into the system later once we finished. So that's gone. And at this point, we are just about done. So, um, you know, many of you tuning in have probably reported graduation details before, but if you have not, um, one important piece for columns K and M is that we need this to be changed from preliminary to final. And so you can just update the first and then I would drag and drop the rest. And the reason that we're doing this is because these are seniors for whom we are reporting. So this has to be final. With that, um, we now have all the information that we need. It's updated. We pulled the information from the SIS into the populated file, and it is ready to be uploaded into ScholarTrack. So you can save it you know, to a, a folder on your computer or device or put it on your desktop, and then you are ready to upload it into graduation details. So with that said, I um, hope that this training was informative and definitely if you have any questions, please reach out to your local outreach coordinator who will be happy to assist you with the process. So thank you for tuning in and we appreciate your partnership.